Dean Blanchard here, talking to you about tips and tricks to make Station 8 easier. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on skeet, trap, and sporting clays, and I got bird hunting too. All right, so with Station 8, let's just get through some of the quick formalities on basically how you, you do it. So we have the house here. We have uh, the white area you generally have on a house. You're going to hold somewhere right around here, top right corner, maybe a little bit out, maybe a little in. That's going to be a personal thing you're going to have to experiment with. Target's going to come out, and we're, we're looking somewhere right in here. Some people look in the hole. Some people look just right of the hole. The other thing is, on, on the station, we're going to be moving the gun over to shoot before it hits the stake. So we got to make sure our feet and our body set. Play with that a little bit to make sure that when we go to pull the trigger, we're going to be in a comfortable position. All right, so that's that part. Now, to make it easier, what we're going to do is we're going to start at station seven, high house, and this is just going to be opposite for low house. Now, word of caution, as you move forward, we're going to, you have to watch out broken pieces from low house and all that because in case somebody accidentally hits that low house button who's pulling targets for you, we want to make sure that we move to the side. And what we're doing is we're going to take about 10 or 15 steps forward, get in our position so we can come up. We don't want the target to pass us. We're going to get into that hold spot and looking. Target's going to come out. We're going to have more time with this target. And then it's going to be a little bit less lead in station seven. We want to get comfortable shooting it there. And then once we're comfortable there, we want to move forward another 10 or 15 steps. Then we want to hit it there. Target's a little bit quicker, a little less time, but we have more time than we have on station eight. Once you're hitting it there and you get comfortable, move forward even more. So instead of 15 steps, let's do like five or eight steps. So we're, we're just cutting the distance a little bit, a little bit more. Same thing, we're shooting it here. Now, if you find yourself start missing targets, don't miss more than three targets before you step back to make it easier and then get hitting again and then move forward again. Now, what we're trying to do is work our way to the other side of station eight. So we're making it even harder than you'd normally shoot it. And because we're trying to build it, so we're trying to overdo it. We're starting, starting off real easy and then working ourselves to be difficult. Once we got the difficulty down, we move back. Now we can just pound targets on station eight for high house. For low house, like I said earlier, all we're doing is the opposite. We start in station one, shoot low house, move forward. Shoot low house, move forward. Same thing, we don't want the target passing us. Lead is gonna diminish as we get to the center. It will help you with that move with the target. Same thing also is we're trying to get to the other side of the station where it's a little bit tougher than you normally shoot it. So that way we're reaching a bit. Let's go to the range. I hope this helps you break more of the targets on station eight. It can be a, it's more of a trick shot for people. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.